Hi everyone, I am Fed Dragon and I'll guide you through implementation of VMware virtualization on HP ProLiant DL360 G4 server. I got this ProLiant server 10 days ago, so I'm literally pushed into learning such things. I've spent many many nights googling on the subject, but finally I've succeeded. Now I can save you a lot of time if you have the same problem. Actually, if you do have the same problem, you'll never know how many nights I've saved you because the solution is right here in front of you. Ok, let's go. The first question is what I'm trying to accomplish and my answer is very simple. I want to run some VMware virtual machines on my ProLiant server. The only VMware product I've used before was Workstation, so I wanted to continue with it. My first plan was to get ProLiant server, install Windows Server 2008 host operating system, install VMware Workstation 8 as virtualization host and run my virtual machines in it. And I did it. I installed Windows Server 2008 host and VMware Workstation without any problem. But first disappointment slapped me in my face when I tried to start one of my virtual machines with Windows Server 2008 64-bit guest. I discovered that my ProLiant doesn't support hardware virtualization, which means that I won't be able to run 64-bit guest at all and that 32-bit guest will run under software virtualization, meaning with huge loss in performances. So I gave up. I was near to crying like a baby. But in desperation I've decided to consult Google on the subject. God bless Google, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but the whole world is smarter thanks to Google. And Google told me that my ProLine server does support virtualization through something called ESX Server 3. WTF in caption of this slide stands for what the fridge. It is very very useful phrase for really confused people. So what the fridge is ESX? Again I consulted Google and I found out that ESX, ESXi are VMware servers which can be installed directly on the hardware. As you can see on the screen, instead of having two layers, host operating system and VMware workstation, we can get VMware virtualization environment by using just one layer, ESX or ESXi server. Honestly, it was big news for me at the moment. It sounds very good. On the first side, it looked like better architecture in terms of performances, and probably it is. I'm so curious to find out more about performances of ESX that I'll do some benchmark testing to check it and you'll see the results in my next video series. Things are much clearer now. I know that I should install ESX CXXI server. I've investigated a little and found out that after ESX version 3 VMware improved the architecture of the servers and introduced ESXi version of servers with better architecture than ESX and that the newest version of ESXi is 5.0. Great, let's install it, but this time I'll be cautious and first read about compatibility to avoid future caveats. Let's consult Google. I'll search for HP ProLiant VMware Compatibility Matrix. Google of course already knows what we are looking for, thank you Google. And the very first result looks like something we want to see, support matrix. We are on hp.com portal, it's definitely reliable source in our case and this is compatibility matrix. Uh, rules of matrix are actual ProLiant models, BL series, DL series, etc. And columns are ESX, ESXi server versions. Columns are grouped into tabs by major server version. So on the first tab you'll find just version 5, on the second tab you'll find version 4, etc. Since we want to install the newest version, we will try to find our, our server on the first tab. I'll click on DL series and I'll look for DL360 G4. As you can see, there is no DL360 G4. The first on the list is DL360 G5. What it means? It means that if you have DL360 G5, you're a lucky guy. You can install ESXi 5.0 or ESXi 5.0 Update 1. But if you have DL360 G4, you must try with version 4 servers. Again, go through list, 
search for DL360G4 and again there is no DL360G4. The first on the list is again DL360G5 and if you have DL360G5 you can install whatever you want but if you have DL360G4 you must try your luck with version 3 servers and again go through list and voila DL360 G4 at last I can't believe it. what it means it means that our server supports ESX server version 3.5 up to update 4 it also supports some earlier versions but they are not of interest and uh, one another thing we can see here is that our server does not support version 3.5i it means that our server does not support ESXi architecture just ESX architecture so at least now we know what should we do next we should install ESX server version 3.5 up to update 4 We've concluded that we can't install the newest version, but at least now we precisely know what our mission is. We should install ESX Server version 3.5 on our hardware. It's enough for this video. If you want to continue with installation of ESX 3.5, you should watch tutorial on setting up HP ILO and then continue with ESX Server 3.5 installation videos. Thank you for watching and if you like my tutorials don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free and this way you'll support my work. Thanks again and bye.